A pandemic has already forced our state leaders to make about $2 billion in cuts. And as Action 7 News reporter Brandon Evans found out, they want to do more to make sure New Mexico can weather another crisis. Hi, good evening, Shelby. You've probably heard the phrase putting all of your eggs into one basket. Well, the state of New Mexico had a lot of eggs in the oil and gas industry basket. We're outside Netflix right now. A lot of eggs in that TV and film industry basket as well. Both of them, however, hit hard by the pandemic. One of the things that has become glaringly obvious um, through COVID is we have to diversify the economy. The state cabinet secretary for economic development says they're targeting several sectors. Some the state already has a foothold in and others they hope to attract to the land of enchantment. We have an opportunity here because there are companies and businesses that don't necessarily want to be in big cities anymore, and they are looking to New Mexico to relocate. The categories for those businesses include aerospace and defense, biosciences, cybersecurity, film and television, global trade, intelligent manufacturing, sustainable and green energy, and sustainable and value added agriculture. The $1.5 million in grant money the state just received will also allow for two new hires, a recovery coordinator who will manage current needs and work with the community on opportunity zones, ways for those hit the hardest to get help, as well as an energy coordinator. And this uh, position will support the recruitment and the support of clean energy companies and job training programs. Now this new strategy that they're putting together, it's not just for recovery now, it's actually to put together a comprehensive 20 year plan on the state about where we are and where they want to be in the future. Reporting in Albuquerque, just outside Netflix, I'm Brandon Evans for KOT Action 7 News. And state officials say they hope to have the full plan rolled out in the next six months.